Hey guys, what's up? And thanks for stopping by and checking out my video. So initially I was going to make a video about some beaches and different stuff last week. However, there's Hurricane Elsa that's just recently passed um, near Trinidad and is heading up the islands right now. And that brought some bad weather and did not make it ideal conditions for going out into like the open spaces and that kind of stuff to make a video at this point in time. So I'm going to focus on that later. So I had to get a little creative this week. And today I'm going to bring you Trinidad Ceviche. So if you don't know, ceviche is made all around the world in different styles. It's essentially using raw fresh fish, putting things like lime and different seasonings to kind of cook it naturally as opposed to applying heat to it. It tastes really good. Maybe not everybody's cup of tea, but I personally love it. And I think I make a pretty good one. So I'm going to make my version of it now for you, show you the ingredients and different things I use. And hopefully it comes out really good and tastes excellent when I'm done. Please remember to like and subscribe, turn on the notifications button so I have new videos every week on Sundays. And yeah, that's it. So I'm going to head across there now and start making a really good ceviche. The first stop is the grocery, so let's go. All right guys, so for my ceviche, you're gonna need a couple of ingredients. You're gonna start with getting a pack of cricks, a large onion, cucumbers, pimentos, salt, black pepper and then of course limes and perhaps most importantly fish now let me tell you a little bit about the fish before I continue it's always highly, highly recommended to make your ceviche with fresh fish. And what I mean by that is that it has been recently caught, never frozen, very important. The taste will not be the same if you use fish that came out the freezer or that was bought in a grocery that's been sitting there for a while. It's not something you want to do and it will not ever taste nearly as good as something that is fresh out of the ocean, caught very recently. Today I'm using kingfish, which is a type of mackerel. This has been caught yesterday. It's really good to go. I kept it in the fridge overnight, never been frozen. Perfectly suited to the recipe I'm making right now. You don't need to use kingfish. Many different types of fish can be used in ceviche. Almost all, but not all in my opinion. I prefer fish such as karit, kingfish, dolphin fish, which is mahi-mahi. I think those make the best ceviches for me. I recommend getting that and remember just go to your local vendor or if you know somebody who sells fish or is a fisherman, take it from them straight off the boat and use that to make your, your dish. It will taste so much better. You may even ruin the experience for yourself if you try to use a fish that was frozen or old. Fresh is, fresh is the best in this situation. So keep that in mind when you go to prepare this thing. So the first thing we're going to do is prepare all our ingredients before we get around to the fish and everything else. So I'm going to start by skinning the cucumbers and then I personally like to use a grater to get them fine and kind of um grong dong to a little bit of strips of cucumber to put in it. Now this is not necessary, you could also cut it, dice it, whatever you want. It's really about personal preference at this point in time. It doesn't make a difference, it's really what you like. And then I'm going to move on to dicing up my onion and I like to dice them very fine, small, so it is not, it's not too overwhelming with any ceviche itself. So when you're eating it, there's nothing too overwhelming in each bite when you take it. And finally, once the ingredients are prepared, I will slice my limes. Make sure and have a strainer nearby because once you get to the point in time where you want to use your lime, you're going to want to be able to strain the seeds out of the lime. You don't want seeds to end up in your ceviche itself because it can make for a very unpleasant experience. If a seed ends up in your mouth and you bite into it, it's very sour, very unpleasant. Or even while you're putting it into your ceviche, but make sure and catch the seeds and only let the lime juice itself run into the actual ceviche. The purpose of the lime, which is perhaps the most important of all the ingredients, is beyond flavoring. The lime and the acidity in the lime is what cooks the fish over time. So the acidity basically 
takes away the raw element of the fish. Now when it comes to all these ingredients I'm telling you about, I'm not giving you tablespoon measurements, I'm not giving you any kind of specific amount because it depends on how much fish you buy, it has a lot of variables. It. The only thing I would say is the salt and black pepper. Definitely put in a generous amount to begin with. You can definitely just leave the salt and black pepper that you put and then revisit it later if you feel like okay well maybe there's not enough salt or black pepper in this towards because you can add salt and black pepper to the recipe once the ceviche has been completed. So now we're gonna dice up the fish and pretty much I like to chop the fish pretty small into I would say cubes but it's not it doesn't really come out looking like cubes and that way again much like everything else when you're eating it normally ceviche is consumed using crackers or bread different things like that and it's ideal to have it that you can scoop it up and eat it almost on like a little plate on a cracker you want it to be a bite size kind of snack and that's how it works best so I'm gonna dice the fish very small as well now once we've diced up all of our fish all our ingredients are ready add all the ingredients together mix it up give it a little shake and then we're gonna put it in the fridge and let it set for about three hours Alright guys, so we've just finished mixing our ceviche and at this point in time you want to put it in your refrigerator and cover it in a container for about 3-4 to four hours. It can be eaten before but I do recommend at least 3 hours to let the seasonings and the lime soak in for the best flavor possible. So that's it for my video, I hope you've enjoyed it and if you do try to make your own ceviche, maybe send me some pictures or tell me in the comments how it came out and if you enjoyed it. If you think I left out any ingredients or you know a better way to make it, by all means share it with me. But again, thank you for tuning in guys. Continue to stay safe. Hopefully better times are coming. I know the borders in Trinidad are opening shortly. And it looks like maybe things are about to make a better turn. So yeah, enjoy your day. Have a great week. And thank you very much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe to my videos. Turn on your notifications. I'll keep trying to bring something every week on Sundays. Hopefully more outdoor adventures to come. And maybe in the future even some cooking. Bless up guys. Have a great day. Peace.